I actually grew up here. I don't know when, when the quarry got, first got built. That's a good question. When did the quarry San Antonio first get built? 1998, that sounds about right. One of the first stores that actually opened was uh, Old Navy. And I remember begging my mom to get me big pocket jeans. So if you're alive back in 98, you would remember what the big pocket jeans were. They were kind of the play on Jinkos. Jinkos, as everyone knows, were the gangster jeans of our time in the 90s. Yeah, she never bought me them. I've seen a couple of shops come and go. Paxson being one. You'll find a corner bakery at Paxson, where Paxson used to be. Nonetheless, it's here, it's surviving. I don't think it'll be like that too long of a time. I think eventually things are gonna have to change here, but we'll see. 2020 has definitely brought in an unprecedented, I would say, retail environment. I've seen numerous companies file bankruptcy in the past six months. Going up to the top, I've actually never been up here. No entry, theater, exit only. All right, this is another episode. Today's topic, we're actually tackling the idea of retail for the past 10 months. Nonetheless, we're here. So November, we're getting ready to start the holiday season. Big question is how are holiday projections, holiday earnings going to look, right? We know and we understand that for the past 10 months, retail has been in a slump. Even before the pandemic, retail was already in a slump. With the pandemic hitting, no one is going to stores. No one was going to stores. No, no one was uh, really interacting inside the mall. People were staying away from malls. There was a lot of companies that were renting, were missing rent payments, were delinquent on their rent, weren't making sales. Everyone understands that if no one's going to the mall, no one's spending money, rent payment is, is due regardless, right? These leasing agents, these leasing companies that have this commercial real estate space inside of America's biggest malls still have to get paid. So what happens when retailers aren't paying their rent payments, right? They're delinquent. They're losing money, they're bleeding cash. At the end of the day, these leasing companies are in turn losing money, bleeding cash. My theory, and this is a pretty, this is a pretty far-fetched theory, but my theory is there's a lot of companies that are waiting for the holiday earnings season to go forward, try to rake in, make as much money as they can in the holiday months, and then potentially look at filing a bankruptcy right after the holiday season. It could happen or it could not. There could be a big dramatic change, right? Everybody is shopping online now. We understand that a lot of companies have seen a big jump in online sales more than they've ever seen before. Some of them being Walmart, Target. I actually have a list, Oz and I compiled, of 2020 bankruptcies that have happened. From them being Pier One Imports, True Religion, J. Crew, Neiman Marcus, Aldo, JCPenney as we all knew, Tuesday Morning, GNC, Lucky Brand, Brooks Brothers, New York and Company, Men's Warehouse, Steinmark. Some of these companies are publicly traded, guys. Publicly traded. We know that it's going to be a big dramatic shift in either the way that people shop or a big M&A, mergers and acquisitions process that's gonna happen in its sector. Who knows? Who knows? It could go one way and it could go the other. I won't make the bold statement that there's going to be an apocalypse as much as I want to make that statement, but it very well could. So the question that we have to ask ourselves is what's going to change? What's going to change in terms of how you and I shop day to day, go to the mall, interact with these companies? What's going to happen with the space, right? If enough companies begin to move out of these retail establishment, brick and mortar stores, what happens to the actual commercial space that's there? Does it get converted into a different type of building? A whole tell we don't know but that's definitely the question we want to be aware of and we want to stay vigilant on that's all i have for you today guys hope uh hope everyone kind of begins to think in a different manner in terms of what the retail sector is doing what the market is doing and evidently i mean what the market is telling us about retail hope to see you guys soon stay safe